No, no, no! Come on! Come on! You can't die on me! Don't you die on me now! I guess we won't get to go <coughs> on that fishing trip after all. Don't you say that! We're gonna get you out of here! I'm not going to make it. <coughs> I'm Lungshot. Tell my wife I'm not going to make it. <coughs> I'm long shot. No, Sarge. You're gonna pull through. You're gonna make it, and you're gonna walk up to her on your own two feet right out of here, and you're gonna tell her yourself. And also, she's standing right over there. It's not far. She and I <coughs> have been at odds lately. <coughs> Ever since she shot me in the lungs. Are you sure? All right. I'll go tell her. Um, I'm sorry to tell you this, ma'am, but your husband is lung shot, and he's not going to make it. Well, you tell him that maybe after he's done dying, he can clean the garage like I've asked him to, uh, I don't know, a hundred times? Oh, okay. I'll go tell him. Sarge! Sarge, wake up! Sarge, stay with me. So your wife said that when you're done, um, dying, that you should clean the garage. Will you tell her? <coughs> I would love to if she hadn't shot me in the lungs. Um, yes, sir. I'll be right back. Uh, all right. He said Will that- Will you tell him that if he's still dead by the time I get home from work, I'll kill him again? <sighs> all right. You wait right here. All right, Sarge. Now, she said that- Tell her <coughs> that- <coughs> She's a bitch! Okay, he says, cough, cough, gurgle. Well, you can tell him that if he doesn't get his bloody ass up, the all- <laughs> This is all your fault me? if you Absolutely just clean not. the garage like- What you want? Me? You should clean the garage me? up! Me? Are you oh, kidding you me? me? Right no, along. I cannot not to... believe you're bringing it There it is, there's a hole in my fingers in it! This is oh. just well, insane! Well, there's certainly your blood everywhere! Oh Ah, jeez, I totally forgot I put a pot of coffee on. Hope it's still good. Aw, oh, man, I forgot to start the dishwasher. Guess I don't have any clean mugs. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what else I'm forgetting today. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot to dispose of this. Hot one today, huh? <laughs> That's an intense beard you've got going on there. Hey, this might sound a little weird, but can I touch it? I, I feel oddly compelled to touch your beard. Wow. That's so weird. Wait, what the? Oh, what is this? What? What? What's happening?
Whoa, nice beard. Hey, this might sound weird, but... My boy, my people are in grave danger and are in need of your help. Are you ready to go on a magical adventure? Heck yes, I am. Then come, follow me. There isn't much time. Woo! When life drops a bomb, buy an F-bomb. Link in the description. Hi, you didn't see me there. You know why? Because I'm Ted Bear. If you want to survive like me, you've got to have a sharp wit, endurance, good looks, and a backpack full of ingenuity. I've got mine on both straps. Try and keep up. Here's the scenario. You're on an international flight, and the best has gone dodgy. Perhaps an albatross with poor eyesight has confused your plane engine for a mate and smacks right into it. Macking up your once snug commute to a spiralling disaster catastrophe. Luckily, you've left your tray table up, and now you're the only survivor, stuck in some godforsaken jungle. It's cold, it's muddy, it's wet, it's hot, it's inconvenient, and it's a bugger out of the way. Now, the first thing you gotta do is get a sense of direction. A good strategy is to find the nearest river and follow it. After a while, all the walking will leave you bleed naked. You need to find a source of food, because food means carbohydrates. Carbohydrates mean energy. Energy means movement. Movement means survival. Luckily, there are bounties of food in the wilderness. You just gotta know where to look. <gasps> bacon! We must be underneath a bacon tree! Now, some of these aren't quite ready. You need to climb higher to find the crispy ones. Ah, now there's a nice ripe strip. You've got yourself a quarter of a complete breakfast right there. Time to keep moving. Try and keep up. Now, we need to find some refreshments to wash it down. Ah, now what do we have here? Now, it's very crucial to reach all the way in the back to get the freshest milk. 
always, always, always check the expiration date on the back. It's imperative to your survival. Ah, just my luck. Chocolate chip muffins. Raisins. Here we are on some desert island, conceivably in the middle of the ocean. Without a map, we can't be sure. What we do know is that our body needs water. Not so fast, mate. This is salt water. We need to filter it into something more drinkable. And now the fruit fish turns salt water into delicious, drinkable punch. First, you need to find the fruit appendage. <laughs> <sighs> now you're probably thinking, Dad, there's no such thing as a fruit fish. Well, you're right. It's actually a crustacean. Yeah, the, the trick to uh, surviving on a, on a mountain, it's, a, it's hard to catch your breath. At this elevation, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. Yeah? Why? You got a pole in your stomach! Oh god! Oh god! What the hell? You've got one too! Oh, oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Poor little guy. He's been sick for so long, and I feel so badly for him. Little buddy is in so much pain. I'm afraid the only option we have left is, uh, you know. Mm hmm. Miss Livingston, this is an adult human being inside of an animal costume. Can't you see that he's in pain? He's my pet, and it's my decision. And my decision is I want to end his suffering. I see. And, uh, what is he suffering from, exactly? Well, look at him. I tell you this every time you come in here, Mrs. Livingston. This is your son, Kurt, a 24-year-old adult human male, and I can't euthanize a 24-year-old adult human male. Actually, it's Fire Dash. Right. I'm a pyrofox from the forest planet. I live no, in you, you don't understand. In the kingdom Fire of Fire Dash? Dash is sick. He's been... He's been sick. He's been sick a long time. <sighs> Miss Livingston. Call me Rachel. Miss Livingston, this has been and continues to be a complete waste of my time and resources. On top of the fact that this is completely unethical, it disregards Kurt's basic human rights. It's Fire Dash? My name is Fire Dash? You just don't want to live I'm with a Mark. son who, as an it's adult, wants to live his life as a magical human planet? dog. What, would you? Uh, I'm a pyro. Not to mention the responsibilities you have as a mother. His mother. Come on, please? No. Isn't there somewhere I could leave him or something? Come on, Kurt. 
are you gonna let her treat you like this? Or are you gonna stand up straight like a man and say, I'm here, I'm a magical dog boy, and I don't wanna die, Mom? I don't appreciate you referring to me as a cisgender human male. I'm a trigender pyro fox. Get out. Please! Get out. Please! Get out! Come on! Get out! Get out of my office! Oh, fine! Quiet, Poppet. Soon you'll finally be free. Dr. Murphy is ready to see you, Joel. Right this way. All right, if you'll just have a seat right here, the dentist will be with you momentarily. Hello there, Joel! Haven't seen you for a while! Oh, you weren't afraid to come back now, were you? No, <laughs> JK, JK. We like to have fun here. All right, Joel! Let's see what's going on with those choppers in there. Open up. Nah, I won't bite, and I hope you don't either. Ha <laughs> ha, JK, JK, LOL. Say, ah! Oh, wow! You're a little spitty, aren't you? Are you nervous? Yeah, this'll help. All right, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, okay? Okay. Happy Mother's Day, Bobby! Mother's Day cake's on a thing, kiddo. But, Bob... <sighs> She's too smart for me. Good boy, you are. Who's a star? Yeah, you are. You're such a good boy. Oh, yeah. I like that. I'm gonna go grab a drink. You want anything from the kitchen? Yeah, could you grab me a soda? What the fuck, man? Don't act like I don't know what's going on. Keep your paws off my Kool-Aid. Understood? <laughs> Keep it up and I'll take you to the pound. And by pound, I mean with my fists. What I'm trying to say is, I'll fucking fight you, dog. Gosh, make room, you two. I'm glad that you two are getting along so well. After all, he's my beasty big man. Yes, you are. He's so fucking cute. Oh, yeah. That's it. Do you want to take this outside? I said, let's take this outside. All right, let's do it. Let's take this outside.